Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Trend Writer and it has been a while. So a lot of you know that I took a break from booktube for a while to work on my book and I just wanted to give you an update on how everything is going, bookish life and writing my book and everything and my plans for this channel for the future. So my bookish life has been going great. I have been able to reach a lot of my reading goals already this year. I've already met my Goodreads challenge on Goodreads for how many books I wanted to read. I've just had a lot of time it feels like to read this year and it's been really fun. I've had a lot of great reads as well, four or five star reads. And I do plan on doing a video to share my top books of the year as it gets closer to the end of the year. I also want to share my bullet journal. I've already been working on my bullet journal for 2020 because I love my bullet journal. I am currently reading, rereading Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea to finish up the series because I didn't actually know there was a whole series uh, until I was like an adult and it's been the perfect fall read for me. So my writing has been going so well. I have been loving it. I finished my first draft, which I was way excited about because it was the first draft that I'd ever finished despite having tried to write so many other books and then writing like the first chapter or writing 20,000 words or whatever and then being like, okay, I'm done. I'm Writing's not for me. I don't know that I like writing. I'd get, you know, and so I was able to figure out ways and systems to help me finish my first draft. It was between 40 and 50,000 words and I was really excited to finish it. Then I found a book called uh, Save the Cat Writes a Novel. One of the members of my writing group found it and, said, and now we've all read it and are using it. And it has been really, really helpful. I've also found some YouTube channels that have been really helpful. I've been learning so much. My husband has actually joined the writing group and he's really good at looking at the big picture and and seeing kind of plot things with books like oh they did this really well with plot or oh there's a hole here overarching character with their character arc or whatever and so I've been learning a lot from him and practicing on seeing those big picture things and restructuring my book and I'm doing the second draft right now I'm on chapter two of my second draft there's a prologue so I'm you know not very far into my second draft but I've been submitting that to my writing group and it has been really fun. I don't know if I'm going to try and get this book published. I am still uncertain about whether or not the I love the idea enough. It's a Rapunzel dystopian retelling where her, her hair is extra strong and grows faster because she's been genetically modified. I don't know that the idea is strong enough or that it's the right time in the market to try and publish a book like that and so I'm unsure whether or not I'm going to pursue that but I definitely want to at least finish the second draft to really practice getting the beats down and, and I know the beats really well because uh, my husband and I have been practicing them with like movies and books and stuff but I want to have practice writing them and also to just have the practice of now I finished my first draft now I know I can do that but now I need to know that I can edit my book as well and get it to a good point so I'm not sure where I'll go after that, but I know I'm definitely going to finish the second draft. And I have a really fun idea for a Cinderella retelling that I am like super, super excited to write when I finish with this one. So that's kind of my prize for finishing this one is that I get to move on to my next book. And then I have other ideas too, but the one I'm most excited about is a Cinderella retelling. So now I guess I will talk about where I am going to go with my channel. I have been really missing booktube because I love the community here, I love making videos, I love making the content and sharing my bookish life. I've been keeping up kind of a bookstagram account and figuring out what I want to do with that a little bit. I'm still working on figuring out exactly what I want to do with it, but if you want to follow my bookish life you can check out the Instagram account and I will link it down below. And if you want to follow just my reading, I post a review for every single book that I read on Goodreads, so you could follow me there as well. With my channel, I definitely want to make some bookish content still, but I've been thinking about leaning more towards AuthorTube. I want to start doing a series where I analyze books from a writer's perspective. So I would take a book and I would read it and kind of analyze what I think they did really well or not as well, what I what worked for me, what didn't, and look at it from the perspective of a writer. What would I change? Why? What technique did they miss here? Or what technique did they really utilize here? 
How was their character arc? How was their hook? How unified was their book? You know, did the theme really drive home for me what I wanted it to at the very end? Those kinds of things. So I want to start a series about that and then I would probably make videos talking about the techniques that I, t that I am analyzing in the books, like little short, short segments about what I feel is important and what I'm learning. It would definitely be a I am learning as I am sharing what I'm learning because I'm not a published author yet and I feel like I've learned a lot in the last few months but I've, I'm obviously still a beginner writer and so it would be a follow me on my journey as I learn these really important writing big picture not like oh these phrase phrases are different or here's a vocabulary list to change up your writing or here's how to edit or n not anything like that but like the big picture what makes a story work that the 20% of work that brings the 80% of yes to readers, you know. Let me know down below as my viewers if I have any viewers left after my long break of not uploading any videos. Let me know what you think of that idea down below. Would you watch writer author content? Are you only here for the bookish stuff? Would you unsubscribe or would you stay subscribed but only watch the bookish content? I'm not sure how I would balance it yet. It would kind of be a, I would try it and just see how it goes. But just let me know what you think of that idea down below. I think that's everything for my update video. I also just wanted to reiterate, thank you. If you are watching this video, thank you for being a subscriber, a friend, uh, someone that I can come to with bookish stuff. I love booktube. Even with my break, I've been able to watch some videos and I just love the community. The community feel of booktube and how how awesome everybody is so thanks for everything you do for me and for the booktube community and thank you for watching my video i will see you in future videos I'm not sure what kind of videos yet but i will definitely see you in future videos